this is Joe at Joe's Test Studio. When you are doing your city scenes and you're including your people in your buildings, uh, it's always a good idea to include some automobiles, cars, trucks, uh, big rigs, 18-wheelers, um, all sorts of things. I would like to just kind of show you how I approach automobiles and stuff. Okay, I will come over here and I will just start with the windows first. Okay, over here. And mix up. And we can kind of go like this, do a window there, a window there. And then what you need to do is you need to put your tires on it, coming across here like that, and like that. You can come over here, get some red paint, and you can paint the tail lights if you'd like. Like that. In four or five quick steps, you can have the semblance of a car. I really don't try to paint different model of cars, okay? I like to just give the impression that it is an automobile. It's a way of transportation of getting around. And, uh, and we can go over here. You can have your little sedans. You can have your big excursions, your big SUVs if you'd like. There's a lot of them out there. And just come in here like this. It's the same process, folks. Come in and go like this. It's like a parking lot. When I wanted to learn how to um, figure cars out, I went to a, a Walmart parking lot and I'd sit in the parking lot and um, uh, just draw cars. You can go to any parking lot and do that. Um, one thing that's very difficult to paint is a Volkswagen. You can come up here and do the back window and then the sides here and then let's put uh, the tail lights on right here and then we'll put the we'll put the wheels on back here like this and there'll be a wheel up here like that and there'll be bumper like this now and remember scale you can come over here and let's say okay like that and then you can also throw a real quick figure in here if you'd like you know, like that. And then what you can do is come back here in the background and just start throwing some background in. And you can come back here and you can define the tops of the, of the cars. Let's just do that, do this. Okay, now this is be very interesting here. It comes over here, over the car, and it goes up like that, and then up like this and around. Then it comes back down. Oop, that's okay. If a little area is off or not, it looks like it's been squeezed, that's just fine. All we're after is a gesture of it. Once you become more familiar with this painting method, then you can just start refining your automobiles any way you would like. Okay, I'm over here. Let's just get some yellows and we can put, make a very colorful kind of foreground here and just run that just like that. And before you know it, you got a nice grouping of cars like that. This is a really an exciting way to apply the paint to the page. And we got a guy over here. See, and remember your scale when you put people up to cars. It depends on what it is. I know that, that um, this Volkswagen is a little bigger than it normally should be. But I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about getting the paint down very quickly, getting my shapes established as it is. And then I can come in here with the dark, and I can start refining certain areas here. See what I mean? There. But this should give you an idea of how to approach that. When you put the color on the page, what's going to happen is it's going to <clears throat> dry probably 40% lighter than, than what it went on at. Now, if you would like to come in here and put a value on 
the car. Say you want a red car, you want an orange car or whatever. I would suggest that you approach it the same way. Do your windows first and uh, establish your tires and your, head, your headlights or your taillights and then wait for it to dry and then apply the color you want to the outside of the car once it is dried. Uh, I've had the best luck approaching it that way and um, you can see uh, these are kind of crude but hey they tell you that it is a automobile. You can come in here and throw some more darks in here if you'd like and just kind of showcase this one little area here and just like I say just let the paint mix on the page. Okay that's that one.